Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can send business brochures on WhatsApp on Google form submission automatically. Guys, suppose that you have created a form by which you are collecting leads for your business and as and when any person is going to fill your form and you generate a lead, you want to uh, send the same lead, the brochure of your business on their WhatsApp. But guys, sending the brochures on WhatsApp manually to each and every lead that you're getting is very time taking and problematic process. So here we have a solution for you and the solution is automation. So here we are going to integrate Google Forms with WhatsApp in such a way that as and when any person is going to fill the form, the brochure of your business is going to deliver to that person on the WhatsApp automatically. Okay, so you need not to do anything manually here. It will run automatically. Let me show you how this is going to work. So guys, this is a Google form I have created to generate the leads. Uh, this is a kind of inquiry form. You can customize it according to yourself. Okay, and you can see, uh, uh, let's say that this person, Mr. Nathan Johnson is filling this form, okay? And this is the WhatsApp account of this person who is filling this form. Okay, so now let me show you how this automation is going to run. So I'm going to click on submit here and you can see the form is submitted. Okay, now let's check in the WhatsApp account of this person if he received any message or not. And you can see he has received this message and the message is this. Hello, Nathan. Thank you for filling out the form. Please find the attached PDF for more details related to our services. I hope you will consider us for your business. Okay, best regards, Heartcare Hospital. And this is the brochure of this hospital. Okay, so this is uh, the message we have created and the brochure for, just to show you the demo. And this is how it is going to work. And guys, now let me show you how you can also set up this automation. So guys, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. And to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so sign up right now and then log in to reach here. And guys, here you have to click on this create workflow button uh, to create a workflow of automation. And here you have to enter a name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Google Forms to WhatsApp. You can give any name according to you. Okay, now click on create here. And you can see your workflow is getting ready here. And uh, here on this page, you will see these two things first, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new form submission received from the Google Forms. And the action would be to send a WhatsApp message, okay? So first of all, you need to set up this trigger. So from this choose app field, choose your trigger application first, which is uh, Google Forms in our case. So you can see here we have Google Forms selected. And the trigger event would be a new response received. So it will trigger this workflow when a form is submitted, okay? And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL, guys. And it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to Pabli Connect. So with the help of this, we are going to make this connection with Google Forms by following these instructions written here. You can uh, read these instructions and follow them. Let me show you how exactly we can make this connection. So first of all, you need to reach the spreadsheet guys where you are collecting the form responses. Okay, so this is my form. Uh, this is my form and this is the spreadsheet connected to this where we are capturing the data out of form submission. So guys in this uh, spreadsheet, you need to click on extensions and from this add-ons option, click on get add-ons. And from this window, Google Workspace Marketplace, you have to search for an add-on which is called Pabli Connect Webhooks, okay? Search for Pabli Connect Webhooks and install it here. So it will just take two minutes to install this add-on. As you can see, I have already installed it, so I do not need to do it again, okay? And guys, after installing this add-on, you need to refresh your spreadsheet. This is an important step. After uh, installing Pavli Connect Webhooks, remember to uh, refresh your spreadsheet, okay? Now, after that, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pavli Connect Webhooks option available in this drop-down only. And from here, you have to click on initial setup, okay? 
and under the initial setup you will find these two fields first is the webhook url field and other is the trigger column field so in the webhook url field you have to paste the webhook url that you got here okay and in this trigger column field you have to enter the last data entry column or the final data entry column that you have in your spreadsheet so uh, let me show you uh, my final data entry column is uh, this one the e column okay so why this column is the final data entry column because uh, as you are, you start uh, entering the data here you need to start from the a column then b then c then d and finally you have to enter the data in e and as in when you enter the final data that is going to trigger the workflow and the data will be sent to fabric connect okay right so uh, click on extensions from public connect webhook click on initial setup and uh, here let me just copy the webhook url first <clears throat> come back to the spreadsheet let me erase this previously pasted url and paste the webhook url like this and in the trigger column put the name of the final data entry column which is e here right and as you can see here as I have copied this webhook URL, it started showing here waiting for the webhook's response. So this means guys, now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission means you uh, need to send the data of the form submission here as the test data. And we are going to use that test data to set up this automation further. Okay. So to send the data here, you need to just click on this send test option here in the initial setup, click on send test. And the data of the first row that we have in our spreadsheet will be sent to uh, Pabli Connect as the test data. Okay. You can see the test data is sent successfully and you can see the data is this. Uh, the name is Akash Bhelkar and all these details. Let me show you. And in the workflow, you can see we received the response and the name is the Akash. And the last name is Bhelkar, the email and the phone number and all the things we got here like this. Okay. So this is how we can capture the test data and after capturing the data you need to go back to your spreadsheet again okay and from here click on submit okay and you have to do one last thing more here click on extensions and from Pabli Connect Webhooks initial set uh, from Pabli Connect Webhooks option click on this send on event button also okay check this send on event option so when you check this what will happen whenever you receive a new form response it is going to trigger the workflow okay right so after that come to your workflow and now we want to send a uh, whatsapp message in which we want to send the brochure of our business to the leads that we are capturing from the form response okay for that to happen you need to connect a application which is called 360 dialog here in the section step okay so search for 360 dialog here it is whatsapp by 360 dialog select this so i know you guys are wondering why we are using a different application to send messages on whatsapp so guys to send messages on whatsapp directly we need to have the access of whatsapp's api okay so 360 dialog is an application or a service which provides you official access to whatsapp's api so by using this application we can send messages on whatsapp very easily okay and after selecting the application, select the action event, which is send template message. Okay, click on it, then click on connect here. And from this window, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the API key and the domain name of 360 dialog. Okay. So guys, uh, to find these two, these two things, you need to reach the dashboard of 360 dialog application. Let me show you. So guys, this is my 360 dialog applications dashboard and here we have set up an up account and if you want to use this application, use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can access the services of 360 dialog in very affordable prices than the usual ones they offer you. Okay. So here guys, uh, you can see we have this button showing the generate API key. So by clicking on generate API key, you can generate a API key for yourself. And you have to copy that key and enter it here in this API key field. And while generating the key, you will get uh, the domain as well, which will look like this link. So you have to copy that link and paste it here. Okay. And guys, generating this API key and make the making the connection by filling these two things is a one-time process. 
तो गाइज वंस यू गेट योर की जनरेटेड एंड वंस यू आर डन फीलिंग दीज टू थिंग्स एंड मेकिंग द कनेक्शन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बाय थ्री सिक्सटी डायलॉग एंड पैब्लिक कनेक्ट यू नीड नॉट टू जनरेट द की अगेन एंड अगेन दिस इज अ वन टाइम टास्क टू जनरेट द की एंड ऑल्सो यू नीड टू मेक दिस कनेक्शन बाय फीलिंग दीज टू थिंग्स ओनली वंस आफ्टर दैट यू कैन यूज एग्जिस्टिंग कनेक्शन ऑप्शन टू मेक द कनेक्शन अगेन एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी जनरेटेड अ की एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ कनेक्शन इन अ डिफरेंट वर्क फ्लो सो नाउ आई कैन यूज द एग्जिस्टिंग कनेक्शन ऑप्शन एंड नाउ आई जस्ट हैव टू क्लिक ऑन सेफ एंड यू विल सी दैट विल बी कनेक्टेड विथ थ्री सिक्सटी डायलॉग लाइक दिस ओके एंड नाउ इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द टैम्पलेट सो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू वॉट टैम्पलेट्स आर सो गाइज टू सेंड मैसेजेस ऑन व्हाट्सएप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू यू नीड टू क्रिएट मैसेज टैम्पलेट्स हेयर इन थ्री सिक्सटी डायलॉग सो आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑन मैनेज टैम्पलेट्स ऑप्शन हेयर सो गाइज दीज आर द मैसेज टैम्पलेट्स वी हैव एंड दीज आर नथिंग बट दी प्री डिफाइंड मैसेज स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज टू सेंड मैसेजेस टू मैनी पीपल ऑन व्हाट्सएप ओके सो यू नीड टू क्रिएट सच मैसेज टैम्पलेट्स हेयर विच विल लुक लाइक दिस आई कैन शो यू वन ओके लाइक दिस एंड टू क्रिएट सच मैसेज टैम्पलेट्स यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन एट टैम्पलेट बटन एंड हेयर यू कैन गिव अ नेम टू योर टैम्पलेट यू कैन सेलेक्ट द कैटेगरी इन विच यू वॉन्ट टू सेंड द मैसेजेस ओके it has many categories and now you can select the language in which you are sending the messages and it will uh, show you two type of uh, options here in the template type you can create a text only type of template or you can create media and interactive template for uh, today we are using media and interactive because we are sending a brochure here so when you select media and interactive type of template you can add uh, you can see here in the header section you can add image you can add a document or the video inside the message template as well okay so after filling these all these things you need to click on preview and submit and submit your template and after that facebook that is uh, whatsapp's parent company is going to review your template and approve your template okay so after so it will take uh, i think 45 minutes to 1 and a half hour to get a, a template approved so after getting your templates approved you can use them to send messages on whatsapp automatically okay so let me show show you my template which we are going to use here so guys this is a message template i have created uh, to show you this uh, automation and here you can see i have a document url field here in which i am going to map the document url that i want to send on whatsapp and here i have this these body fields you can see Uh, this one in double curly braces here and this two are called body fields so these are the variables in our message templates you need to add these variable tags in every of your message so that you can use uh, the same message multiple times as you can see after hello here i am going to address the person to whom i am sending the message so we are going to map here the name of the person and here you can uh, map the name of your firm your company or anything okay so these are the things that are going to change with every new message so to get these th these body fields changed with every new message you have to map the values of these fields here in the workflow that you are creating okay so first of all select your message template which is uh, this one send pdf brochure okay and you can see after selecting the template uh, the the other fields will open up like this okay the namespace field will be filled automatically and the language code also because we are sending the messages in only only one language and here and now it is asking for the recipient's mobile number and here the document header file document file name and these two body fields so here in the header document url field you have to enter the link of your pdf file or the brochure that you want to send to your lead okay so you can uh, use the link of your google drive also you can up, uh, create this brochure and upload it on drive and you will get the link uh, specifically we are using here pdf link so i have uploaded it uh, in my wordpress website and i have get this link here so i am just copying this link and let me enter it here in this header document field okay like this and you can give any suitable name to this document i am giving the name as uh, business brochure just brochure okay right 
and here it is asking for the recipient mobile number so here we are going to enter the whatsapp number on which we are sending the messages okay so you can use the data you have captured as the test data okay so here we have this data guys that we are captured from the google form so i'm going to map this whatsapp number label here so to map this label you just have to come here on this recipient mobile number field and click on it and you will see this google forms response step in the drop down which was our first step and when you click on it you will see all the data that you have received in the previous step so from here just map this whatsapp number label like this and remember you have to enter the whatsapp number in this format with the plus sign and the country code okay so right now we do not uh, receive the data in this format so i'm manually putting here the plus sign as the plus sign and the country code okay but uh, when you create a form ensure that you ask your uh, customers to enter the data in the exact same format uh, you can see i have this text entered here in the form please enter your whatsapp number with the country code okay right now i am going to uh, I, I have added this data the plus sign and the 91 the country code manually okay and in the body field one and two in the first body field you can see we are going to address the person to whom we are sending the message so i'm going to map the name of the person like this okay and in the second body field you can enter the name of your firm or your business so i'm in, uh, right now i'm man manually entering here uh, let's say team pably okay so you can enter whatever the name of your business is like this and guys you can check your connection also uh, by clicking on save and send test request as i have captured the test data here i have the access of this whatsapp number so i can show you how the message will look like by clicking on save and send test request so guys this is the whatsapp account and let's check our connection i am clicking on save and send test request here and you can see this is the response we have received here and we got a message also let's check and this is the message you can see Hello Akash, thank you for filling out the form. Please find the attached PDF for more details related to our services. And here you can see we have this team Babli and in the name of the file is brochure. And when you open it, it will be downloaded like this. And this is the same brochure that we have created. Okay, so connection is working perfectly. And we are done setting up this automation here. So guys, let me show you a, a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in the trigger, I connected Google Forms and capture the test data like this. After that, I connected 360 dialogue application in the Exchange tab and mapped the data like this, okay? And you by using the template, we are successful to deliver a message here. And guys, you have to set up this automation only once. You have to map the data only once here. After that, as and when you are going to capture the lead from the form, the message will be delivered to your lead automatically. And guys, the best part is you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, Please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.